Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. In today's Flashpoint, we are speaking with Matt Adams. Matt Adams was a competitor at the British Firefighter Challenge this year. One of our younger athletes who put in one hell of a performance. Today's Flashpoint was brought to you by the wonderful Williamwood Watchers, the makers of those beautiful watches made from upcycled fire service equipment. They actually gave away one of their newest models of the watches to the fastest male and the fastest female. If you head over to WilliamwoodWatches.com or head over to their Instagram page, you will see them at British Firefighter Challenge 2021. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a listen to today's Flashpoint. Matt Adams, <laughs> first day of the British Firefighter Challenge, how did you find it? Yeah, it was about to be fair, it was... Uh... I did it in Watford two years ago and it was kind of a bit daunting again, but no, it was nice, good setup, plenty of open space. Yeah. It appeared a little bit smaller to be fair than uh, in Watford. A few people have said that, you know, they were looking down the course and seeing what the length of it was. How does it compare to Watford? Because you come away with some silverware. Well, to be fair, I've done alright this year, to be fair. That is a massive congratulations. Um, to be fair, I'm a bit fitter, a bit lighter. I think last time I did it, I was about 17 and a half stone okay. without a fire kit. So yeah, yeah. Uh, about 16 and a half now. So that extra kit, that extra, well, less, one stone less. You know what, 16 and a half though, some people still think that's quite heavy. I wasn't going to compete this year and I ended up doing a run and I'm like 20 stone. So yeah, how do you think the balance in, lies oh, between fitness and strength? Because we've seen, we had some ultra marathon runners going yeah, today yeah. and they really struggled. Yeah, yeah. Not because they're not fit, they just, they just didn't have that bit of strength in there That's sometimes. the thing, there's got to be a balance between you can't be too cardio heavy and you can't be too yeah. strong you've got yeah. to be able to get that in between because if you think about the output you, it's power the entire time yeah yeah strength for hauling like you've got to be on it you can't I, I dare say the strong, if you were stronger you'd probably be able to carry it easier than if yeah. you were fitter that's my so my what was opinion. your time coming out today 2.52 2.52 so it's still three minutes yeah. of some of the hardest work in, in the fire service to be fair yeah you don't get trained for that do you you're, you're training right. school it's not like that you're right on the balance I wanted to talk to you about the dummies now these are 70 kilo dummies yes. but they're only like you know they're shy of well just over 11 stone sorry how does that go in your mind because you're 16 stone yeah, I'm 20 stone. You know, the average person in the UK. 85 might... kilos now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm all... saying. But yeah. they're still heavy as hell. It's you still know. heavy. Do you it's think we still... should go heavier? Do you think we should stay where we are? I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? Because. Separate some men's from the boys. Yeah, you does. you could it drag does. a heavier one. Yeah, that's the thing. And but then where do you go with it? You know, It's almost like, did you go for weight categories instead? And does that change? Well, yeah, because yeah maybe. It's massive because there's some lads that are. A bit lighter, probably a couple stone lighter than me. That means that when they're running and stuff, it's less weight. Yeah. When it comes to something like dragging, I'm probably more advantageous because I've got more weight moving backwards. So absolutely. And I shift, well, I walk around at more weight, so maybe that helps. Maybe that's it. To balance it out. You're taller. What are you six one, six, six three, two, six so, three? Yeah. So. Boom. Exactly. So you're a big guy, long levers. I yeah. saw you hauling the hose. Yeah, you're right. To be fair. Big full wingspan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I mean, think you maybe did four or five less pulls. Yeah, than most people. Than and most I people. It as well, to be fair. It was you did spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty bad, pretty bad. I was pulling and thinking this is this is gonna go bad here, but to be fair, yeah, it was alright. So for anybody that's never done it, piece of advice for them. They're just gonna they've heard it, they've seen they thought BFC was dead, they're yeah, coming back, they've seen back. it, they've seen it's back on this year, they're gonna be competing next year. What's one piece of advice for them? Fitness, I think. Weight as well, like uh if you're doing the job day in, day out, it's all about, you've got to take some pride in your fitness. Yeah. And uh, I was definitely at the stage where I'd finished playing rugby. I played back row, second row, so I was a heavy lad. Yeah. Uh, coming to the fire service, and all of a sudden, eh, it's not too bad, day to day, fine. All of a sudden, I saw this, wanted a challenge, and thought, I'll do it. it like I said, 17 and a half stone, it is hard to do. <laughs> it's a lot it's, to so move, it's, isn't you've it? Gotta, you've got to think about your power to weight ratio, how much you're lifting. Yeah. That's not so, so much there, but it's what you're carrying, and how much you're carrying, and how good you are at carrying it. Thinking about our standard fire station gyms, what's the sort of kit you think people should be getting involved with? For this? Yeah. Ah, uh, I think a lap, a lap pull down or something like okay. that, single yep. end. I yep. think prefer single arm cables. Perfect okay. for replicating that haul. Yep. The, the hardest thing is probably the force plate because mm. in the British Fire Service, we have nothing like that. I know like at Central and Leicestershire, they've, they've got, a, oh, I think they had a plate at some point. We have got a force engine machine. These two machines actually live ah, um, so in, in the area near us. So things like that, if, I mean, that's a massive advantage if you've got practicing with it because to be fair, I think last time I did it, I was a lot better. This time, uh, I made a bit of a mare to be fair and I was I was too far behind it and I was mm. whacking. I caught myself a few times mm. in places that weren't the most comfortable places to catch. So uh, that's a lot of technique work. In terms of endurance, are you a rower fan? Do you hit the rower, kettlebells? Yeah, where's rowers. your where's your where's your stuff at? For me, uh, coming into this to be fair, a lot of what I did was sprints and rowers. Um, Beautiful. and I know like well, Watford you had to do a thousand meter time, didn't you? That was yes. an entry thing. So yeah, that's yeah, killer. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, but what I was mostly doing, little wads. I took that from the Europa. Is that where it's from? Yeah, yeah, that's a thousand well, meter, and then you kick it, and then you put your bike it on and go. You go again, yeah. Beautiful. Well, I, I think that's probably the best thing. It's yeah. Hard, you know, highly anaerobic. You've got pulling, obviously, you've got to pull at some point, mm. and all the movements, hip extension, all that sort of stuff, is perfect. So, rowing, to be fair, if you just sprint on rowers, yeah. I reckon you'd come out here and you'd be fine. If that's all you did. Love it. Back my opinion there, yeah. Rowers, that's it. Last one, man. What's the best part of being part of the fire service? Why do you do it? Why do you enjoy it so much? Well, my dad did it. That was, a big, that was a big thing. So I grew Massive. up seeing my dad drive fire engines. Big shoes to fill. Big shoes, yeah. Very big <laughs> shoes. But, uh, but you're doing it your way. Yeah, that's what got me into it. The community, helping people, and just something, something to the pride in the job, really. So my dad be prideful in it. I thought, I want to do that. That's a career I can get behind. So Love it. lucky enough, here I am. Massive congratulations there, mate. You coming back next year? Yeah, I'll be there. Hall next year, isn't it? Beautiful. I can't wait for it. Thanks for it, my man. No worries.